The committee released video testimony alleging that the president sat in a small dining room off the Oval Office watching the violence unfold at the Capitol on Fox News and did nothing to call off the mob of his supporters despite pressure from both inside and outside the West Wing. On the privilege issue, I can't talk about conversations with the president, but I can generically say that I said, you know, people need to be told there needs to be a public announcement fast that they need to leave the Capitol. And Pat, could you let us know approximately when you said that? Approximately when? Almost immediately after I found out people were getting into the Capitol or approaching the Capitol in a way that was was uh, violent. The committee showing the presidential call log indicating there were no records of phone calls made by the president between 106 p.m. and 654 p.m. on January 6th and no activities listed on the presidential diary. Trump's former deputy national security advisor Matthew Pottinger and former deputy press secretary Sarah Matthews giving testimony saying that it was Trump's tweet about his former vice president not having the courage to do what he needed to do that precipitated both their resignations. The committee also used a deposition with a White House security official who wanted to remain anonymous to try to bolster Cassidy Hutchinson's claim that an altercation occurred between the president and Secret Service when the president demanded to be taken to the Capitol on January 6th. Why were we alarmed? Right. Uh, the president wanted to lead tens of thousands of people to the Capitol. Um, I think that was enough grounds for us to be alarmed. Well, the Twitter account for House GOP Republicans live tweeted during those hearings saying, why don't they have a Secret Service agent testifying? All hearsay and stories are not facts. The committee added that several Secret Service agents have sought legal counsel and they do expect maybe perhaps some of them to testify. The committee is saying they're going to use the month of August to comb through new evidence that they say that they've obtained and perhaps a new testimony before resuming those hearings in September. I'm Kilmeny Ducart reporting from Capitol Hill for Newsmax. <laughs>